Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel for day 16 of Vlogmas. Well, it's an ink called vintage copper. <laughs> There's that. It might be a brown, that would be exciting. I'm actually kind of excited about the concept of vintage copper because uh, there's orangey copper shimmer. It's a shimmer ink, so uh, no sheen. Is it a shimmer? Let me check. Yes, it's definitely a shimmer. <laughs> it's definitely a shimmer ink. God's words. But yeah, so um, I'm not sure what the ink color is. I can't really tell from the bottle. Is it like a burnt orange? Is it a red? Is it a brown? I don't know. I have no idea. I know we're getting a lot of blues and purples and not a lot of things that make me feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> or uh, they make me think of red, like red edition. But anyway, I digress. I want to see what this is. Where's my kid brush? Darn it. I hear this. <laughs> I would lose my head if it weren't attached. Yeah, this is a burnt uh, orange, which I am here for. At first glance, just swatching it, it looks a lot like Red Robin. It's probably, it's, it's not gonna be anything like it, I don't think, because this is more orangey. Red Robin went on really red. Shake it up again to really get some glitter out. Because I want to see how it goes with the glitter. More glitter. More! <laughs> yeah, and when I rinse the brush, uh, the water is orange as well. So, yeah, if you dilute it, it's for sure an orange. Did we need another orange? Uh, probably not, but I love orange, so yes, yes, we did, we did, we did, we did. And of course, <laughs> number 16 is the eyeball and not the pumpkin cat. I'm kind of tempted to just like <laughs> scratch out <laughs> the 16 and make it a 17 and just paint the pumpkin cat, which I'm going to do, because why the hell not? <laughs> Plus then you have the two oranges next to each other, which is also fun. I'm, I'm just gonna do it. It's my page. If I want to, I should be allowed to. So, base layer of a really nice light orange. You can see it is definitely a different tonality than Peach Punch. I flippin' love Peach Punch. It's still one of the favorite colors I got in this box. My, um... My favorites so far are, um, I'm gonna make this burnt orange here. My favorites so far are Seize the Night, which we got in day one, um, Peach Punch, Ash, and I do, I do quite like Tempest, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I want to make it orangier because you've seen how it went on, um, super diluted, so. There's no point in me letting it dry because you get the point from that one. The point has been given many times over. So now I'm just going to go and smack on some glitter and just let it run. See where it goes. I don't mind. I am so stoked about this. You guys. I'm going to need more fountain pens. Just to load with all the orange. <laughs> I am going to load a fountain pen because I really want to.
guess what I want to do is I want to swatch it next to uh, the other oranges. Um, this is a swatch card that I made when we got the uh, diamine pump, uh, peach punch. I was going to say pumpkin, but pumpkin we didn't get. Um, and peach punch was day 10, so uh, it was a few days ago. Um, now we got that one. This is another diamine ink that I own, and this is a Kaweco Sunrise Orange, but because that is also a burnt orange, I want to swatch it next to it. Well, actually, I don't really have to swatch it next to it. I can hold the swatches next to each other, but I'm still going to do it because I do believe that this is an even darker um, burnt orange and it will be good to just see them all next to each other to give a really good impression of all the oranges. I probably should have done something like this for, uh, for all the purples, but the purples are just not exciting, aren't they? They're also quite different, all of them. And I did swatch Harmony and Grape next to each other um, the day I got um, Harmony, so... And the others are just way more different than these guys are. So yeah, um, as you can see, this is a, a whole nother story. This is even more um, different than the others. So as far as oranges is go, <laughs> oranges are going, God, um, this is actually quite a good show. And the name as well, come on. Vintage Copper. So here for it. Yup, loving it, loving it, loving it. Imagine my surprise when I came back after a good hour and a half, having had lunch, letting everything dry, looking at Black Friday sales online. Yes, I'm pre-filming this. And this has turned brown. <laughs> How cool is that? So this is, it's a standard ink, but because of the shimmer, it's actually really duochrome. If you dilute it, you get a beautiful orange, little specks of shimmer. And if you just go on, go in full stop, then you get a brown with shimmer. But when you write with it, as you can see, you definitely get a burnt orange with shimmer. So yeah, I'm normally I don't like stuff like that, but um, I am here for this so much. So let's continue day 16. Okay, so either 22 slipped in there. I'm just gonna open the one because I think 22 had slipped up, uh, upwards. So if not, I'll open two on day 22. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's a clear zero. I think this is um, more clear than the other one I have. In any case, if it ends up being a double, I don't mind because I love zero. Yes, I do. I mean, look how cute he is. Don't mind having two of these. That clown yesterday, that's another story, but this, I'm good with this. And for the conclusion of day 16, we have another zero, as you can see when I opened the box. But this is clear zero. Well, he's not that clear, but he's supposed to be clear. And this is regular zero. So um, yeah, there's not a huge difference between the two. I love zero and it's not 100% a double, but even I'm thinking this might have been a bit redundant. I would have liked it more if he were more translucent, you know, if he were proper, transparent, or at least more transparent because he's very translucent in the movies. So, in the movie. So, yeah, um, I think I would have liked that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it's zero and zero is one of my faves. So I'm really not mad at getting another one. One for my display case, one for my tree. I'm just gonna leave them out. 
And then we have vintage copper. My god, I love vintage copper. That was such a surprise. At first I thought, oh well, well, as you can see if you watched the entire video, um, thumbs up and thank you so much if you have. But yeah, at first I was like, oh wow, okay, fun. It's a burnt orange, a nice dark burnt orange with some gold glitter. I'm here for it. And then it ended up drying brown. See? I mean, come on. It ended up drying brown with gold glitter and wow, it's 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 epic. I I really really love it and then the name vintage copper. I mean, it's still a nice dark burnt orange when you write with it. So, yeah, it's it's very diverse. I like it a lot. Um yeah, I I'm really happy with that. Um <laughs> Could I have, I mean, could I have, could I have lived without a second zero and got, preferred another character? I kind of do. I mean, I, like, yesterday we got a double of the clown and then today we sort of got a double of zero. And I'm just thinking, why not add the vampires or the witches instead, you know, just like a vampire, a witch. And then there's lots of other denizens of um, Halloween Town that they also could have added. So I feel like, even though I love Zero, and it kind of pains me to say it because Zero was like the one I was waiting for and hoping for the most. I think I would have preferred having another character instead, but you know, Vintage Copper. Vintage Copper just like makes the entire day a total win. So yeah. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What did you think about this? Um, would you like to have um, different versions of the same character in a calendar? Would you prefer a uh, more translucent zero as well? Um, yeah, or just leave a comment. Uh, if you do leave a comment, please be kind. And subscribe if you want to stick around for the rest of Vlogmas. We're over half, we're steadily nearing the end. Lord knows what else we're going to get in both calendars. I'm looking forward to it because um, the Diamine calendar keeps on surprising with stuff like a vintage copper. But yeah, stick around. Um, I would really appreciate it. Um, I do more than just ink testing and <laughs> vlogmasy type things. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll see you tomorrow for day 17.